and plus like it's gonna be cloudy and rainy yeah stay inside type of day all right well the cooler temperatures are always good if you're uh really duded up and you're wearing a lot of potentially very hot gear and that is exactly what happens uh at the renaissance fair that happens over at sleepy hollow uh you buddy is just one of the many characters that you can find out there uh, it's always uh, an entertainment filled weekend for family and people that are into this sort of thing oh yeah we've, we've got so much entertainment and the weekend is going to be jam-packed full of Celts, pirates, jousters, knights, royalty, and oh, the food. Oh, the food. Oh, the food. <laughs> okay, so what kind of food can you find at the Renaissance Fair? I'm so interested. Obviously, there are turkey legs. Obviously, there's turkey legs. we got to have turkey legs. Um, but there's also bread bowls, poutine, and... Your staple favorites, okay. hamburgers, brats, hot dogs, you know, things like that pizza. Ye old pizza. <laughs> <laughs> if you will. And there, there's a, you talk about the actual jousting that happens. This is kind of what Sleepy Hollow has kind of been known for, yeah. is, is the Renaissance Fair that happens there. And I mean, it's uh, quite convincing. This was just a year ago. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, it, you encourage people to show up wearing their favorite kilts and whatever else that may it's kind of like whatever whatever floats your boat absolutely you know if you want to come out dressed as an elf or if you want to come out dressed in your best kilt by all means it's very much encouraged but not required so how much time does it take to set up for this event because you basically oh built like this little city <laughs> yeah. in there right Yep, we have our own 18-acre uh, Tudor village. Um, it's, it takes a long time to set up. We usually start uh, months in advance. We start all of our contracting of our entertainment in January. Mm -hmm. So we get all them set up. We get them ready to, ready to go, and we get all of our contracts back. Then it's all about the, the, build. the builds, if we have any new builds that we're going to do, or even decorating. Mm -hmm. It just takes months. Gotcha. So. Doesn't happen. Rome wasn't built overnight, neither was the Renaissance Fair. Mm -mm. Uh, what are the details with when this happens and how do people get tickets? What would you recommend? The best case scenario? Best case scenario, I mean, get your tickets online. Get them online. That way you don't have to worry about getting up there to the gate yeah. and giving them cash or whatever. Just get in there. It's the 7th through the 8th. Kilts and Lucky Lasses. Come out see the opening gate show at 10 50 mm -hmm. and then we open the gates at 11 o'clock awesome okay. wonderful well buddy we really appreciate you being here and good luck yes. to you because it's happening this weekend and next weekend yep this weekend and next weekend next weekend's pirates and wenches it's yes. my favorite weekend i don't know why <laughs> he's taking a break from his buccaneering to come in and promote the show so we'll see you out at the renaissance fair we'll see you guys there and we'll see you guys there Great.